All right, here we go. Let's do this. Maybe for real this time. Okay. I'm going to start a new journey. You guys. We're gonna journey together. Story mode? Hell yeah. Why am I using... What am I here for? Okay. There we go. Now I can use this gaming chair as it is intended. Shit. Except I'm pressing wrong buttons. Alright, Cal do this. Set your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. It's gonna be good for us. Mongolian throat singing, I'm telling you. Please, Chief. What it sounds like. An error has been detected to on the, line uh, 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy one. You, 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 is pretty damn good song. The Gal will double your pay for this shift. Come on, Cal. Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Keep the work. This way. I'm right behind you. All right. Climb, Kel. Jump, Kel. I don't remember. <laughs> don't worry about it. Ah. Can you worry about it a little? Did I seriously not make that? Sure, it's nothing. Nice. I really not make that. I feel like I should be able to make that. The double jump. Cool. Could make it. I didn't make the first time. I don't think these tools are gonna make. Up here. Will you look at that? A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. <laughs> Dramatic yeah. effect it must be. Ages. Breaking her will be big money. All right, let's go. The view is pretty nice. Although, you know, not so much for Cal, but with the memories and all that. Remembering why he's here. Heads up! What the hell? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ladder's out, though. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks. You're gonna have to find another way. Hey, no problem. I'll improvise. Depart this barge immediately. Whoops. You are not Me a jumping. 
I'm not approved trash. trash. I'm just not approved trash. <laughs> okay. I feel like he can understand that. Easy there. Just passing through. Oh. You're really not going to remind me how to do this? Really? It waited, <laughs> it waited until I figured it out. So, oh, shit. Finishing ahead of schedule. I can just about taste the credits. It's gonna be a wild night tonight. Let's get this job done. Reckless cow. Good to see you. You too. You'll get yourself killed. That's the idea. I don't even get names. I'm just saying. Scrapper. Do they have workers union or like, like work comp? Rats. Nope. Creepy. Welcome to the Empire being Just in charge through, of things. Guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. How's the, uh, how's the stream doing, hey Lagwise? Meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. All right. Yes. Uh huh. Almost forgot it. Whoa. A little laggy for you? Okay. I am getting uh, the occasional being yelled at, but it's not nearly as bad. How'd you get here? How'd you if get it gets, here? If it gets bad, I'll, I'll turn the camera back off. Where the hell am I going? Oh, I hope. Nope. Woo! Ah. Slidey slide. This is preparing me for later. Look! The ship cutter is here! There it goes! Get moving. Yep, good looking out. Okay. I swear I remember things. Oh. I was just gonna let go. You okay? Still here. Uh, gave me a fright there, pal. Done. Hang on. I got this. I had a non Jedi. Do this. We're done. Get out up here. They don't? <clears throat> That's fair. Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. What a score. It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this he's been here, what, four years? Five. <laughs> Never flew this, but down on a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Yeah, I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Absolutely. Empire's gonna get a lot of Jedi good material out of it. Yep. 
Here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay Mr. was the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Well, listen to me. Find us feel like this, it could be your ticket off this soggy rock. Customize your kick now. This, is, this is just Cal. <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <sighs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Whatever you say. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. What is that? You saw, okay? Please no, trust me. I've seen them. I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Pro the bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Uh -uh. yeah. Pillow has pillow has spotted reset. <laughs> on this kid's face is just I mean the DLC is on everything don't get me wrong but I ain't
Bro, wait up. Totally normal, guys. Really impressed with the wet effect on his jacket when they're outside. Yeah, yeah. Where are you going? Gonna keep pressing it forever. Welcome to the remainder of the stream, guys. <laughs> That's not where I was. Now I'm following the astromech. This is all totally normal, guys. being sarcastic is this not totally normal uh no it is not totally normal it's just mostly normal yeah <laughs> something's going on everybody up identification ready move out and line up probably just another contraband inspection nah uh huh That alarm, though? Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. Yep. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in. For everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. <laughs> and engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes, you are. <laughs> no! <laughs> Look at this. A lightsaber. I found the Jedi. <laughs> Checking out the disturbance. Checking out the disturbance. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Hold it. Don't move. How'd you get here? Easy now. Got a stowaway. Oh. Hey, you don't need to call this in. Gotcha. Yeah. 
because... Follow where tag. We're moving. Thank you for the follow, Bravo. I chose to rest instead. That's how I prepare. That's how you prepare for death. Eyes over there! Oh, okay. It's all yeah. over now! Make me want to RP Star Wars again. what I gotta do. Sorry. Get back here, Jedi! Update the game for your stream. Oh, yes. Met, darling. You can do that for me. The fugitive comes this way. I'm ready for it. I appreciate it. Get to the front. Stop the train. Oh no! Need cover. Got to move in between bursts. Now. Risking it. Get down! Ah! 
I need to. This is on you, Cal. What? I'd have to say the horse is looking out for Cal. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here we go. Not sure if it's been mentioned yet. It's extremely laggy. Okay. I will swap back over to mic only and we'll see if that fixes some some of the issues. All right. Hopefully this will be better. I am holding LT, you liar. Whoops. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one was just me straight running into nothing while I was trying to scratch my nose. Uh, well, it was having issues with no difference. Awesome. Um, yeah, it was having issues with uh, Phasmo earlier, which I had streamed Phasmo several times, so...
somewhere. Forgot about this fight, guys. I recognize that stars. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who's your master? Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps? What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? Trying to pause it. There we go. Jesus. All right. <sighs> I will keep trying to find a game that I can freaking play uh, that isn't terrible, terra bad for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put us back on a pause screen. Uh, try to find some find something a little little simpler uh, on my CPU. Um, yeah. So here we go. In a way, rare disease is a misnomer. It's a lot of people. My name's Rich Horgan, and I'm the founder of Cure Rare Disease, a nonprofit that's developing customized therapeutics for rare disease, and our first target's Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I have a brother with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. I'm Terry Horgan, 23. Terry was diagnosed with DMD when he was three. Duchenne's a rare disease, a disease that saps one's muscle over time. My mom's three brothers had it and all passed away from it. It's 100% fatal. My uncle Bobby had the same disease. And when my grandmother found out, she got on a train, went to Boston with Bobby all by herself, and the doctor at the time said, go home and love your son. That's all. That was it. We didn't want to just take Terry home and love him. We wanted him to have a life. Watching your brother not being able to do the things that other kids are doing, not being able to play ball or go to prom, strikes home. There's not a lot out there for Duchenne. We're not even on a clinical trial because they're all none. The trials are geared for younger children. They take all the information from the older boys over the years. And then they're kind of like pushed aside. It's easier to get results from, you know, younger kids that are still walking. Not a lot of for non-ambulatory, so we're kind of left out. Forget about us type thing, we're still here. The pharmaceutical companies need to make money, and how can they make money from an N equals one case, from a rare disease patient? We need to change the paradigm. Every individual with Duchenne muscular dystrophy is slightly different from the other one, which complicates to say, okay, how do we get a molecule that fits all these different sort of permutations and combinations that is Duchenne, and more broadly, other diseases. Angela and I looked at it and we strategized going, what approaches could we take to actually help Terry instead of what approaches exist? What's unique about this particular moment is that those tools are getting to the point where we can actually use them, not just for making drugs to treat tens of thousands of people, but we can actually use them to set up home workshops, build solutions for diseases that don't have, say, the financial backing of a huge industry. What we chose to do from early on was to house this in a not-for-profit, because the idea is that we can move more nimbly because we're funding a group of collaborators. This allows us to move with a clarity and a speed that traditional industry may not be able to do. Working with patients who are very sick, there's a real incentive to move fast, to actually say, I've got something that could potentially help you, not in 10 or 15 years, but next year. Give them a little bit more incentive to, you know, put in the extra hours. More so than ever, that kind of investment is beginning to pay off. Tim, over the course of 10 months, developed a customized therapeutic for a little girl a year and change later, she's still with us. 
This isn't fantasy, it's not sci-fi, it's happened. We did this, this has been done. Specifically for Terry, it's starting to pay off now and we're seeing restoration of full length dystrophin. Then we can do this, we can win, we have the plan, we have the team, we're executing. We've made achievements that have never been made before in the field of Duchenne. Treating patients like Terry and translate that to other patients with different ranges of DMD mutations and also different genes. That way we can actually scale. What we learn from every patient doing this customized approach empowers the next one and the next one, and we move quicker. That's the opportunity that exists in the field to exploit, and that's why we're so excited to have his foundation supporting this kind of work. We need every bit of help we can get, and every bit of help matters here. Every, every dollar, every cent, every person who wants to come support, every corporation who wants to partner that's doing something that will make a difference, that will save a lot of lives, now's the time. My brother's 23. Time's not on our side here. And to have his trust and faith that we can do this and shown so in blood and sweat and tears is powerful. We're on the edge of pioneering the development of customized therapeutics and there's hope. All right, guys. Um, hope you guys learned a little bit about CRD and watching that. Uh, Cure Rare Disease, again, is the organization that we are running our 48-hour relay charity stream for tonight. Um, because I don't want to force you guys to watch any more, any more of me enjoying playing while you can't see anything, um, we're going to go ahead and raid over to uh, another, another mate, another legend, uh, Bravo, who has graciously volunteered.